Now, once I know what are the resources, I need to estimate what would be the financial requirement of my business, how much finance I need. So for that, let's see first, what is the capital, why it is required. See, when it comes to capital, that is the money that you need to invest to start the business or to expand your business. So basically capital is required for commencement that is starting a business for your day to day operation. Okay, working capital would come under this category that is from the day you procure your raw materials till the time you sell to the final consumer and realize the money from them that is your working capital cycle. So sometimes if you get the goods on credit well enough but if not then you would require to ensure that the funds are available. So capital is required for day to day operations for modernization activities when you wish to change the machineries modernize them you will require capital when you need to expand to different geographical markets expand the product line you would require capital for diversification the capital is required and even for your research and development activities okay now finance has been defined as the provision of money at the time it's wanted so tomorrow if i want to go for expansion in that manner it would be like getting the money at the time when i need to expand that's what finance is all about okay so when it comes to business finance it is the acquisition and utilization of capital funds in meeting the financial needs and the overall objectives of the business enterprise so whatever is the need out here the finance would be like getting that kind of money so that you, you can utilize it for the purpose listed out here and you can fulfill the objectives of your business enterprise okay now the major areas of financial decision making would require an entrepreneur to take a decision on the funds required or on the financing decisions what kind of finance you should take should it be equity or should you go for a loan that is debt okay and you need to also make a decision on what kind of funds are required okay now why this is necessary because proper planning for procuring and disbursement of funds make it mandatory for the entrepreneur to explore three aspects what are those three aspects first what is the total amount of money or finance that is required to implement the business plan let's say if i'm going for expansion so when i'm thinking about procuring funds and dispersing these funds i need to know what would be the total funds i would require okay the proportion and the form of various securities to be used to collect the desired amount so from where the money will come in would it be as a form of a business loan or would it be from an investor who is ready to invest his money into your business what are the policies in terms of utilization and administration of the capital so how the firm is going to utilize the money so as to ensure that the objectives are attained and that is the best possible manner in which the funds can be utilized okay now when i'm talking about financial planning what does that mean see financial planning is nothing but a process of estimating how much funds you would require let's say for a particular accounting period okay specifying what would be the sources of the funds and then how they would be utilized in an optimum manner so all these three activities get covered in your financial planning okay why it is necessary that a sound financial plan is built because the success of a business enterprise depends on that if you are failure or if you fail to develop a good financial plan it will result in haphazard things being done or maybe procuring funds later at a very high cost resulting in losses to the business hence financial planning is very important for a company or for an entrepreneur 